Hello everyone, it is I, the Bear Bard, welcoming you back to another episode of the Bear Bard Tales. Today I'm sure that you'll notice that this video is a bit shorter. That's because when this video publishes, I will be out of town, and I didn't have much time. So instead of having nothing, I'm making this shorter video. This does not mean, however, that this video will be shown any less love. The story today is how I imagine someone from PETA, or the prick that jumps the fence at the zoo for the lion or bear exhibit, would play D&D. That is to say, a step beyond common sense. But for now, without further ado, today's story, straight from the depths of r slash RPG horror stories, got shot in the back by a fellow player while fleeing a white dragon that was being healed by our druid. This should be fun. Yesterday, I had the most frustrating D&D experience of my life. I'm playing with a bunch of my co-workers in Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. We're level 4. And at the end of the previous session, the six of us had all been teleported next to a cave in the mountains. We had three sleds with sled dogs we had acquired earlier, more important later. Our daring adventurers walked into this creepy cave and quickly noticed that it was probably created by a white dragon of some kind. And our druid starts to get excited. She's the only person in this group who doesn't work with us. She's the fiancé of one of our co-workers. She says her PC loves animals and wants to try and tame the dragon. The rest of us tell her that she's probably not going to be able to because dragons are sentient creatures. She doesn't care, and although I don't say it, I just know that white dragons are nearly always chaotic evil. We get to a large opening that has a large pile of gold and items at the back. Clearly a boss room. I'm playing a warlock that relies heavily on stealth. so. I turn invisible and start heading towards the treasure to see if I find anything cool. But before I can really get my hands on anything worth it, a young white dragon pops up and snaps at me, bringing me pretty low. The party is pretty freaked out, but we're ready to fight this thing. Except our druid. Combat starts, and this thing is relentless, starts attacking all of us. Our druid tries to convince the dragon to be our pet. He naturally refuses and threatens her life. I ended up going down and our druid casts healing spirit on the dragon. Meanwhile, the rest of my party, except her fiance, after seeing this gets pretty pissed. Another warlock who's playing a serious hothead starts attacking our druid for literally helping the enemy. Then the druid's fiance goes down. She and I get saved by a different player and the party just decides to run for it because the dragon is destroying us even though normally 6 level 4 adventurers should absolutely have no problem with this. I turn invisible again and flee with everyone else except the druid and her fiancé who stick around to try to once again convince this dragon to be our pet. He refuses, again, and only after bribing the dragon does he agree to let them live. This is important because the two of them arrive outside the cave entrance after the rest of us. We all hopped on two of the sleds leaving one for the two stragglers, and started booking it down the mountain, assuming the dragon was still coming after us. The druid's fiancé, also a warlock, decides that he thinks we stole the sleds and decided to shoot at us. He fires a warning shot, Eldridge Blast, which I decide my character would still think is just the dragon chasing us. I was low HP and figured I wouldn't be thinking straight, just trying to flee and staying alive. So. This time the warlock fires a bolt and kills me. No one is around to save me and the only two people in the party that can heal are the two people at the top of the mountain, one of which just killed me. I talked to our DM afterwards and he said the session was probably the most frustrating and not fun session he's ever run. He gave us a medium difficulty fight which we end up infighting and I died for it. I'm still really ticked off about it only satisfying thing was hearing the DM say he was going to talk to the druid slash warlock about what they did, and if they try something like this again after that, he'd just kill their characters. Sorry, I know this is a bit of a rant, I'm just pissed. Luckily today, I got to DM for my group, totally different group of people, and they're wonderful. And scene. Y you see what I mean about the PETA thing? Look, I get wanting everything to be a pet. Believe me, I've even attempted to befriend a dragon before, 
it was a green dragon and a hatchling. It really didn't work out for me, but you know, you have to try. I get it. It's a dragon. You think like, hey, I could ride this thing. It'd be awesome. But at a certain point, you got to give it up, especially when you're looking at this game. This game, you know, they made sure you really understood that it's sentient dragon. I know some people can play them a little bit more monstrous than others, but here it's obviously sentient. You talk to it. I don't know how you're gonna have a conversation with a dragon and be like, yeah, I can clearly tell that you're smart and intelligent and you can talk, but I need you to be my little fluffy pet. Like, it's sentient. You can't tame it, just let it go. You know, there's there's times where you can push the DM and not, and this is definitely just, just stop. You know, you think these people would have learned all these lessons? You know, we have all these lessons where these morons go jumping into the zoo, you know, enclosures and get mauled to death. You know, it's like, you know, Harambe didn't die for you to have not learned to just leave certain things alone. On the other side, I really don't understand what the fiance was, was trying to prove by shooting after them. It's like, are you trying to show off? Like, good job, dude, your D&D &D character really showed them what's up and had her back. Like, I'm sure she's uber impressed. Like, get over it, dude. There's no reason. Like, in-game, out-of-game, I, I don't get it. Like, they even left you a sled. So, I, I just, I can't fathom in or out-of-game why you would even bother with that. You know, with all, a lot of these groups and a lot of these stories, you think, like, you have these problem players. And it's like, I feel like if they just stopped and think... What you're doing right now, would you like it if you were the other person? No? Then freaking stop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you killed a character for what? Because they were trying to fight a dragon that was trying to kill them in a tabletop game? Like, you're causing issues and there really doesn't need to be. And what's crazy is, is they still did this after being given multiple opportunities. The DM should have just straight murdered them. He didn't. He let them go. After their first warning shot, OP tried to just let it go. You know, he explained it in character. Oh, I'm frantic. I don't understand what's going on. He tried to give them a pass, but they still just had to freaking push it. It's like, uh, you know, just give it up. I mean, you know, hopefully, you know, the DM talks with them and it goes well and it's all, you know, dealt with. But hopefully you don't have to deal with that stupidity again. But I think for now that will wrap things up for today. Have you any thoughts on the story? Would you have maybe tried something different? Do you have any ideas for this channel? Maybe you just want to say how much you love you some Bear Bard. Go ahead and sound off in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. They always help. If you'd like to hear more from me, go ahead and hit that sub. It's definitely always appreciated. But for now, this has been the Bear Bard, and I'll see you guys next time.